five big signings in, one or two out. What if this was our year? It's probably not. Hey everyone, welcome back to Building FC Andorra with me, Andrew, and I, I had a feeling, I was like, this is going to be our year. And then three of our four fullbacks got injured before the first game of the season. This is FC Andorra. This is the place where hope goes to die. We're on the eve of the first game of the season against Real Sporting. They are newly promoted. We're definitely going to lose. Let's get straight to the signings of who are brought in. We need to cover defensively. First man in is Pablo Nikolic, uh, Argentine defender with a European passport. He is six foot three. He's fairly physical and quick. Heading twelve, tackling seventeen, bravery fourteen, anticipation. I thought he had everything to like play with Mali and Ben Smith. Five point five million. Schalke bought him for three point nine from Palace. Ex Independiente, I think he will do a really good job for us. Ne probably never going to be first choice, but a really good backup. And then this move, I thought was a stroke of genius. We need a new shadow striker to replace Jalaber. He's still here, by the way. Parma wanted uh, Gonzalez, the Mazala who we weren't playing and wasn't registered. So we did a part exchange for Augustine Capape, uh, 24 years old from Parma, 1 million plus Gonzalez equals. Kapapi. He's got dribbling, finishing first touch, good passing, vision off the ball is good, flares really good, decisions, composure, fairly quick, really agile, he's 5 foot 10, gets in the area, tries killer balls, plays 1 twos, first time shots. Like, I think Kapapi is still at 24, he's already gone to a value of 29 to 32 million, which shows you what a good job I did with this transfer, in my opinion. I think he is an upgrade on Gelabert and I think he's going to do really well for us. Then we finally got a backup striker, Iago from Deportivo. It's like 3 million overall, I think it's like half a million up front, something ridiculous like that. Again, 6-2, aerial reach, 1 on one's 14, reflex is 12, agility 13, he's only 23, value's already gone up. If he reaches that four star potential, he'll be a really good signing. But he's just a backup that we can trust. And I think one of the one of the marquee signings of the summer, David. Yes, that's what it'll be called. David. Uh new left back. He hasn't got quite got the crossing of Pablo Perez, but physically excellent. He's six foot four as well. Decisions, concentration, bravery, anticipation, leadership, positioning, teamwork, tackling, marking, like mentally excellent. Physically excellent. I think he makes us a much better team. But of course, he got injured. Uh, a couple of weeks still out for David before he makes his debut. And then I said I wanted a backup for Scott McTominay, and that's a Carrello role. So here is Kevin. We got him from Villarreal. Caddy, sorry, Caddy for it's going to be like 10 million overall. Another structured deal. But again, mentally, he's there. Like, Vision 17, passing's 14, technique 17, tackling 13, positioning, work rate, physically decent, six foot, we're a big strong team now. And again, the value has already gone up. Five star potential, he's one I'm excited for as well. Outgoings wise, uh, some guys have gone on loan. Moreno back to Alaves, uh, the ones don't care about. Hugo Felix, we got 4.2 million for from Lazio. We got the 5 million from Carranza, and just a lot of loans, really. So we didn't get the bids for like Karakaburu, or Morale, or Alvarez. So everyone's still sticking around. Karakaburu, Keiju Ruiz, McTominay, Jonas, who's going to be fucking phenomenal. Uh, we've lost three of our fullbacks to injury straight away, which is phenomenal. Pre-season predictions, of course, we are like, six. 25 to 1, same as uh, Atleti, behind Sevilla and Sociedad, I'm hoping for Champions League again, that's my hope, That nothing more than that. Formation's pretty much the same, I'm going to try the inverted wing back on attack on the left, fuck it. Let's meta the game a little bit as well. Uh, we're going to, Kipapi is going to start, Kirich I think probably starts away from home, we'll maybe start Acosta at home. 
give those two a split of the minutes. Jonas, Marine, Markovic will start right back with uh, Alvarez and Morale out and David out. So Mali is playing there like, mm, okay, maybe he's passing 12. Oh, let's play Let's play Mali there. Let's play Smith, who's got the pace and the passing. Is that inverted wing back on attack? I might revert back. We'll see, but it's worth a go. Can we kick off the season with a big, big away win? That would be awesome. If we're going to be a top four team, these are the teams we have to beat. Newly promoted teams. Yes, they're on a high, but we finished second last year. We're a team to be reckoned with. I think once everyone's back, we are stronger as an 11. We are definitely stronger as a squad with uh, Nikolic and Kevin. This is going to be very interesting. Starts off with Sporting at the back. It's cutting through our team. <laughs> Not a good sign at the start. New combination at the back with uh, Nikolic in. Smith on the left. Hoping we don't get caught out the back. There we do. Hurtado. Down the right. And we've conceded after four minutes of the new league season. It comes to... <laughs> Maybe Smith as an inverted wing back was not the right decision, Andrew. What do you think of that? Well, he got back... But the cross has come in too easily. It just uh, hits green. Ball straight to Sesma. And it already says that Karakaburu is injured. Fuck me. If we go 2 0 down here, win the fucking ball. This is not a good start. There we go. McTominay wins it. Gives it to Kirich. Back to Smith. Malin. Jonas. Markovic. The cross. And we give it away. There's Jonas Kipapi. And played to absolutely no one. There's Jonas Karakaburu. He's injured, but he scores. He might be offside. What are we celebrating? Come on. We kept him on. The big man gets his first of the season. 42 last year. To Jonas, Jonas again. John plays on the last shoulder. Lovely little finish. Early corner. Jonas to take. Goes near post. Mali isn't near it. Smith should win that. To Markovic. Back to Jonas. Plays it in. Kirich! Are we going to get two ruled on side? Seems unlikely. The big man smashes it in. It's another goal. It's another goal. After a shaky start. Jonas again. Picking out the big man, Kirich. Oh, what a finish. Doesn't matter. That's my point. Him, He's got the physicality and the pace away from home to cause problems in that DLF position. Here we go, Jonas again. Starting really well. Markovic to Jonas. McTominay. Kepepe to Markovic. To Karakaburu. It's free. Now it's working. Now it's working. Started again from Jonas. Is it, is it going to be his season? Marin, McTominay, Jonas, Kepepe. It's beautiful football. Markovic with a cross. Oh, and John smashes it in near post. Sure, we not another one before half time. Jonas, Kepepe to John. He's in. He's one on one. Oh, it's beautiful. You don't stop that. Well won by Marine. Jonas, Kipapi, the one-touch football. John's played through with his speed. And then he's got the presence of mind to pick out Kirich and it's 4-1 <laughs> half time. And we went 1-0 down and I was slightly worried. But it's all good. And this is what this team does to me. Like, you lose that goal and you think, oh God, it's one of these seasons. John's got a knock. Uh, buddy L. But then they come back and play absolutely fantastic football. Let's get John off because he had a, did have a knock. Let's play. Let's play Durmaster. Oh no, Durmaster's fucked as well. Shit. Jonas with the corner. Goes near post. Mali off the bar. I've seen an absolute sitter, but he seems to have saved it. It's harsh. Jonas again. Cleared away. Knuti, not Freddy. Markovic. Oh, that's cynical. Oh, that's cynical. Let's, uh, let's take Mark. Have we got another fullback? Perez is on. He switches round with uh, Ben Smith. 
Kevin's on for his debut. Quinn Perez back as a winger. Not sure we need the inverted wing back if I'm honest. I think probably it's better for a wing back on attack. Chance for sporting. No, it's, oh, it's just forced him wide. 10 minutes to go, it's 4 1. Let's drop a praise. Don't get why the game suggests you substitution, but you've already made all three. Like, what are you doing? Bit of a nothing second half, to be fair, but we blew them away the first half. Matado plays it in, it's going to be a goal. Oh, Etienne Green. What a save. 4 1 would be lovely to kick us off. Four two is okay as well, I suppose. It's it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. There we go. Full time kicking off the season for win. Kirich, Karakaburu, Jonas, absolutely superb. There we go. Three points in the bag. First win. So we'll kick on with the season. Uh we'll come back around about January, see how we're getting on, see if there's anyone to bring in, see if anyone's to go. So please drop a like in the video if you're joining FC Endora still. We're going to kick on with these seasons. We're going to keep going. We'll complete that 20 years. See what we can do. I think we're still one or two players away from a title challenge. But I think someone has to leave before we get that. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching so much. It means a lot. From me, Andrew. Bye for now.